Well, here we are, at the edge of the Kuma River near the M1. Quite an attractive spot, at least uh, from where we're standing. Oh, nice talking mango tree there. But we're here because of this beauty. Eucalyptus toward the corners. To speak a bit loudly just in case the wind's affecting the microphone. This remnant tree, somewhere between, I estimate, 200, 350 years old, based on the enormous hollows present in the stem and the scaffolds. We'll go and have a closer look at the base in a moment. Let's get some idea of the scale of this tree. By far the biggest tree in this area. And as you can see, it, in the past, it's lost the entire upper portion of the canopy's regrowth. See how much bigger it is from the trees adjacent to it. Oh, poor mangoes there. Absolutely fabulous tree. Let's go and have a closer look at its habitat. So here we are, walking through the tall weeds at the base. Here we are at the base of this pteridocorn. There's the camphor. The burl here on the bottom. Amazing girth, 5.9 meters. And towering above us. Gorgeous. Almost up into into the stratosphere. The canopy of the camper actually accentuates the height in this tree. Lovely. Lots of burls on this tree. There's a great big one above me. And then another further up. Magnificent. And then here is the fig, Ficus obliqua, growing at the base on the other side of the tree. Another canopy underneath. And the actual uke canopy way above us. 26, 28 meters up. You can actually see in the past uh, there's some sort of cubby house up there. Someone's got some old timber stairs to rot it away now, but you can see where local kids are enjoying the structure of the tree for a number of years. And here at the base, all kinds of wondrous fungi species, insects, saprophytic beetles, springtails, all kinds of insect life, which of course is helping attract and maintain the bird life that's in this tree. So you can see the camphor oil to the right. Ficus obliqua to the left. Charity corner stem up to the middle. All those bird noises, well, the majority of those you can hear at the moment. Rainbow lorikeets. So they're having a high time of it. Both nesting and roosting. Showy little things, aren't they? All colour. Look at that chap. Incredible quality. Quality of the habitat in this tree is just astounding. 
enormous hollows, large diameter deadwood at heights of above 18 metres from the ground. 20 to 22 metres up there you've got deadwood hollows in excess of 600 mil, 700 mil diameter. really is an amazing tree. Quite extraordinary. What a survivor. Just aren't any trees of this quality and this age anywhere else in this area at Kuma. Used to be. Most of them were cleared in the first and second phases of clearing. This one remains. <laughs>